Hello friends, welcome back to VC Technology. In this video, I'm going to teach you about how to debug a RPG early program. For that, first you need to select the program which you want to debug. I'm selecting this program. I need to enter 14. After that, don't press enter. You have to press F4. Okay, after that, press F10. After that, press page down. Then, here you have to write star source okay or else you can go through star list also if you want to know how many values that we can use over here means just press f4 over here and you can see the values which are going to use over here okay for rpgle you can go through star source or star list as of now i'm going with the star source okay press enter and press enter y press enter after that we have a command which is strdbg which means start debugging after that space library name slash program name then press f4 here you can see update production files at this place you have to enter star s after that in the next line also opm source level debug which means original program module source de source level debug here also you need to enter star s and press enter it will take some time wait for that here we go so here you need to know one thing about this debugging so you may get a doubt which is why are we use this debugging mode so why we are using this debugging mode means uh, if you want to know how the compiler is executing while executing the program then you have to debug the program so if you want to debug the program you need to know one thing you need to add a breakpoint in the program you cannot add a breakpoint in the declaration part you can add the breakpoint at any statement so here the statements are begin with this line right so i'm going to add a breakpoint over here to add a breakpoint you need to press f6 here you can see that f6 add or clear breakpoint if you want to add a breakpoint over here you have to place cursor over here and press f6 here you can see the color has been changed it became white color right so here here the message also came that uh, breakpoint added to line 5 okay if you want to clear this breakpoint then simply place the cursor over there and press f6 so you, here you can see the color has been gone and the message also changed breakpoint removed from line 5 so this is how you can add a breakpoint or a clear a breakpoint now i'm going to add a breakpoint over here after that just press f3 now you have to call this program right so i'm calling press enter so the compiler directly come to the breakpoint it won't execute the lines which are before that breakpoint okay now what if i want to move to the next step so here the compiler has come to this line it's good then what should i do to go to the next step means you have to press f10 here you can see that f10 first step which means if you want to go to the next step you have to press f10 like this here i'm going to enter 17 and press enter so now this line has been executed it displayed me this message and i have entered some value that, that has to be stored in age variable right so now we'll see whether the value is stored in age or not okay how can we see the value which is present in age so that's a simple thing just place the cursor under the variable and press f11 at the bottom you can see the value of age age equals to 17 here you need to know the one thing here f11 function is working with only variables it is not working with anything else anything else which means it you cannot use this f11 functions with op codes like dsplly or else some text like this you you should not use that one if you place the cursor at op code and if you press f11 you can see this message here identifier is nothing but a variable variables are also called as identifier i have already told you that the f11 function is only working with variable right so if you place cursor at any place and if you press f11 then the compiler will think that the cursor placed position is a variable and here now 
the compiler thinks that dsp ly is a variable and i did not dis I did not declare this uh, DSPLY, right? So that is why it is displaying this message. Identifier does not exist, which means I did not declare. If you want to move to the next step, just press F10. So here it checks the condition. Here I am going to check the age value, press F11. So age value is 17. 17 is less than 12. Condition is false, right? Then it won't enter into the if block, it come out of the if block. So it checks the condition again. Here 17 is greater than or equal to 12, condition is true and age which means 17, 17 is less than or equal to 26, condition is true right, then it will come inside the else block, if you press F10 you can see this, after this the compiler will not check any conditions after this line, again okay? it will come, it will directly come to the end if, now I am pressing F10, so here you can see the message has been displayed after that it it came to the end if so if you want to see the output from here itself you you need to press shift to plus f9 so this is the command prompt you can use this shift to plus f9 shortcut at any page if you want to use the command prompt without coming out from that page okay so this is the very useful command after that i'm going to write a command dsp job log display job log again i am pressing f10 and press f10 and press page up here, here you can see engage the message has been displayed after that it came out of the program then press enter after that press enter again and if you want to remove this command prompt press f12 after that press f10 so it came to the last record and if you press F10 again, so the compiler will come out of the program. At last you need to know one thing, you have started the debugging mode, right? So you need to end the debugging mode. For that we have a command which is end dbg, which is end debugging, press enter. Now debugging mode has been completed successfully. Now I am compiling this program in a normal mode. I am calling this, now I am entering again 17 only I am press enter here you can see the output engage so if you compile the program like this you can see the output directly if you want to know how the program is executing then it is better to go with the start debugging mode so that is the simple thing which I want to share with you so that's it for this video I hope you understand this concept thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.